Hello and welcome to the Daily Meal for Tuesday the 19th of November 2024. In today's Meal News, I have to tell you that the tickets for Oxford Away are sold out. Finito, done, gone. Uh, quite a lot of demand for this game. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but I think the obviously... So coming up, on Saturday we have Sunderland at home. We're coming up to a free game week. We've got Sunderland at home. Then on the Wednesday, we got Portsmouth away. And then on the next Saturday, we got Oxford away, which is this game, and that's sold out. And I think the Portsmouth game, I don't know whether it was a case of the fact that it's midweek, the fact that we already went there in the Carling Cup, well, no, not Carling Cup, whatever it's called now. What's it called now? Carabao Cup. So we went. We already went to uh, Fratton Park in the back Carabao Cup, uh, but it doesn't seem to be the same energy for Portsmouth away on the Wednesday as there is for games like this. This game, of course, Oxford are one of the other teams that got promoted from League One last year with with Portsmouth, and uh, the tickets are sold out. They sold out very quickly indeed, very very quickly. And there were, I, I showed you in a video previously how many layers of loyalty points you needed to get through. That was so uh, the club knew that the demand was serious and uh, they, uh, they acted accordingly and all the tickets are sold out. So there you go, done and dusted. Should be, uh, should be a good game. Now, moving on to this, we've got, I've got some actual Mill news now. They've been speaking to Neil Harris. Uh, I don't know when they spoke to him, but normally he does the pre-match on a Thursday. So I don't know if they, they were desperate and they called him up, but uh, we've got something going on. So this is from the southernnews.co.uk. Mill manager aiming to humble another huge football club ahead of Saturday's clash with Sunderland at Leden. Mill boss Neil Harris said he's looking forward to his side's clash with league leaders Sunderland on Saturday and wants the Lions to try and humble another huge football club in this division. Before the international break, the Lions defeated third place Leeds United and fourth place Burnley at home with both games ending 1 0. They are set to take on Sunderland side, who are currently on an eight game unbeaten streak, although they have drawn their last three games. And as I told you the other day, well, I think it was yesterday, in terms of how many big players they've got missing, when Joby Bellingham has not played, they have not won. So they've drawn or lost. So he is suspended for the game on Saturday. Just so you know. Uh, Harris relishes the prospect of taking on another top four side at the Den. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we just beat Burnley at home. Uh, just beat Leeds at home. You get to 15 games, you know, they're a top of the league for a reason. And I think 15 games in, you know, it's a relatively uh, fair reflection. Uh, Sunderland are top, you know, and, and they're good at lots of different things. And, and that's why they're top of the league. And they've got some real individual ability as well. So another huge crowd at the Den. It will be a brilliant atmosphere. You know, Sunderland uh, travel and support their team really well. And it's going to be a cracking atmosphere. Uh, the players are ready for it. Uh, and we just got to try and go and humble, uh, you know, another huge football club in this division. Mill will head into Saturday's game on a seven-game unbeaten run seen just twice during this period. Their impressive form has catapulted them up the table into eighth, only two points off the top six. When asked how he keeps the momentum going, Harris said, Oh, well, sometimes it, it doesn't have to be about me. You know, sometimes it's about the players themselves and, and the leadership in the group. You know, at this stage, some of the players have played in the under 21s and some of the players have trained. Uh, some of the players are on international duty. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of players on different schedules. So there's time apart for a lot of players, which I think is healthy at times. Uh, so when everybody comes back into the building, you know, on Thursday morning on the same schedule, then there's a lot of excitement and banner within within the group, and it's really positive. Uh, then it's down to me, you know, to affect the mindset of the group in the following 48 hours leading to, up to the game. We're in a really strong place at the moment, and ultimately the lads are really enjoying it, and they want to spiral that, you know. They want to keep that momentum going to be on a juggernaut train during a successful period. There's no better feeling in the football industry. 
Indeed, indeed. It feels good when you're winning, doesn't it? Does it not? It feels absolutely fantastic. Now, moving on to this, also from the southernnews.co.uk. We have to make sure we get it right with these lads. Mill Boss adopts a patient approach to injured duo's recovery. So what's that then? So Neil Harris emphasised the need for patients with injured duo Billy Mitchell and Adam Mayer as they continue their recovery ahead of Saturday's clash with Sunderland. Neither Mitchell nor Mayer played for the first team this season after picking up injuries during pre-season. The duo featured for the under-21s last Thursday against Sheffield Wednesday with Mayer playing a full 90 minutes and Mitchell playing 65. Harris stressed the importance of a cautious approach to their recovery. Oh no, he's getting there, uh, Harris said. Uh, we have to remember, you know, with Billy, uh, his last appearance for the football club was on May the 4th you know, at Swansea last season. Adam's the same, you know, Adam and Billy are going really, really well. You know, Adam is in front of Billy match minutes wise and they're both going really well. Uh, if you look at what the players will be playing, you know, during the course of the preseason, you know, the lads would build up from 30 to 45 to 60 to 75 to 90, you know, and possibly a repetitive appearance after that. Uh, we have to make sure we get it right with these lads, you know, as much as you want uh, players available. You always don't want uh, anyone to break down and lose them over a period. Uh, we'll be mindful with him. Uh, if needs must, you know, at times, uh, you have to put players in slightly earlier. You know, like Tom Bradshaw on the weekend, it was important that Tom impacted the pitch for 45 minutes. So sometimes uh, your hand is forced a little bit. Uh, if my hand's not forced with Billy and Adam, then we'll be as patient as we possibly can. Uh, but Billy, you know, obviously was so influential at the end of last season in a really positive run for us. And it would be great to have him available sooner rather than later. Indeed, indeed, indeed. So they're rushing Bradshaw back, but they're not rushing Billy Mitchell back. And Adam Mayer, well, he's not really... And they, they can't rush him back because he's barely played anyway. He's sitting on the bench. I think in the total, was he played like 100 minutes? Uh, maybe even less than that in terms of these substitute appearances, if you add them all up. It doesn't account for a lot. And that's what I'm saying. I, I think he's going out on loan in January. Um, and we'll see how he gets on. But, uh, yeah, there you go. Now, moving on to this from londonnewsonline.co.uk, which looks to be about the same subject, but I think it's slightly different. So, Mill Boss updates on the injury situation as Championship action resumes against leaders Sunderland. Mill will manage Neil Harris is pleased with the work that he's come back in players uh, put in during the international break with Tom Butch Bradshaw upping his minutes. The Lions resume championship action on Saturday at home against Sunderland. Uh, the South Londoners, who are top of the form guy for the past six matches, are waiting for Romain S.A. Jules Savoy and Milo Ivanovic to return from international duty. More on that in a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Billy Mitchell and Adam Mayer have not played a competitive minute for Mill as they return from injuries, but Bradshaw and Josh Coburn made their return from Knox in the 1 1 draw. At Stoke City. Oh, fingers crossed, you know, Romain, uh, George and Miha return from international duty in the RK. Harris told the South London Press, you know, the boys, uh, they're coming back from long-term injury. You know, Adam Mayer and Billy, you know, they're edging close all the time. Uh, they're very close to select selection opportunity if need be. Uh, Billy Billy and Adam, you know, they're working up their minutes and training loads. Uh, Brad and Josh Coburn are training every session. You know, Tom played 65 minutes in the under-21 game at the Den last week. And uh, to build up his minutes, you know, he's getting healthier and fitter. Uh, the lads have been missing a pushing, uh, you know, along really nicely for us, uh, which is going to be really important between now and March and, you know, the next international break, especially over the festive period where the games come thick and fast. Indeed, indeed. I think we've basically got a full squad. No one is, like, long-term injured, I don't think. Uh, although, Adamu Maku did come off injured in that under-21 game, and we don't have it. We didn't get an update. So, we'll wait to see on that if he makes the bench for the Sunderland game or any of the free game week. Now, I told you about this yesterday, and we've got it. I'm just covering it, what, what the South London Press uh, have, have said about it in the uh, LondonNewsOnline.co.uk. So Mill record signing makes his international debut. Mihailo Ivanovic made his senior debut for the Serbian national side on Monday evening during their Nations League goldish draw against Denmark. 
The 19-year-old has been involved in the past two senior squads, but was only named on the bench for games against Switzerland and Spain. He was subbed on in the 82nd minute for Andrija Zvikovic at the Stadion de Bokica. And Serbia finished third in their League A Group 4 table. Ivanovic, who has been capped internationally at under-17 and under-18 level, joined the lines in the summer from Terb- Serbian top-flight side Vojvodina. He put pen to paper on a long-time deal with the Denners, featured eight times in the championship under Neil Harris. A scoring one goal. Uh, Ivanovic scored his first goal uh, in the 1-1 draw with Derby. So there you go. Absolutely fantastic. And rounding up this international break in terms of Millwall players, we have the last game of this uh, international break. And this is from englandfootball.com. It's the official England football website covering all the England teams. Under 20s, otherwise known as the Elite League squad because... England rugby team has an under 20s team and anytime you search for England under 20s it will just take you to the rugby team so they've changed the name for some reason so here we go Poland 1 England 1 this is the match report which I'm not going to read because Romain Essay isn't mentioned in it obviously Romain Essay starred to some extent in the last game which we don't have any footage of Bizarrely, even though it was, it was at Chesterfield, Mill TV apparently doing a thing. I don't know if the, when they're going to release that or if they already have. But Roman Essay did not start. He was on the subs bench, but he did come on because England were losing. Um, when did England score? Um, they scored before he came on the pitch because the geezer who scored Dominic. Ballard was the one who SA replaced. So SA came on trying to get the, the winner to make it 2 1. It was 1 1 at the time. I see a Romain SA number 19 coming on for Ballard in his 74th minute. So there you go. There, oh, it was in 50. Yeah, so there you go. Came on, it was involved in a few. Uh, I, did sh- I did find. The highlights for this game, bizarrely, because obviously the Poland actually film it. They probably broadcast it and they put it online. Unlike the England team who just you know, don't care, don't bother, don't want to know. Uh, so there you go. Uh, so yeah, 4-0 win against Germany. And a 1-1 draw away to Poland. And there you go, that's it. International roundups is done until March. Fantastic stuff. We are back. We are back, baby. We're back to Millwall, uh, Sunderland. Saturday, the 23rd of November. Let's go. And on that note, thank you for watching and goodbye.